Well, U.S. prisons such as Rikers Island in New York City are considering releasing inmates as the novel coronavirus continues to spread. One America's Caitlin Sinclair reports. New York City Board of Correction is calling for the immediate release of what they're calling high-risk inmates from Rikers Island, a prison which is notorious for being one of the most dangerous correctional facilities in the country. The announcement comes hours after an officer and a prisoner tested positive for COVID-19 at the Rikers Island prison. Other states to enact measures like this so far include California and Ohio. However, where the state of New York differs is the percent of the city's incarcerated population who have already been released this year under New York's bail reform laws. The bill, which was passed in the Senate by a Democrat majority last year, released those being prosecuted for hundreds of offenses, such as stalking, ran larceny, assault as a hate crime, and second-degree manslaughter. So what has New Yorkers and some representatives concerned is the inmates who are left in a prison like Rikers who are arguing for their release. The only people that are being kept at Rikers are suspected murderers, rapists, gang uh, members, uh, heavy drug traffickers. And there might be some who have been um, put back there because they broke parole. And that's what the mayor and the governor need to be transparent about. Who is exactly is being released and why? Our police force is very scarce right now. The first responders are very focused on the the public and health aspect of this and to give them more work to do at this time is really disturbing and I think uh, misguided. New York Republican Assemblywoman Nicole Maliotakis called the inmates who are left at New York Correctional Facilities the worst of the worst, insisting that those on the left have used coronavirus as a get-out-of-jail card for hundreds of inmates across the country. I don't think uh, a prisoner in Rikers is any less uh, safe, uh, any less uh, safe from the coronavirus if they're if they're put out in the public uh, than they would be at Rikers Island if we were taking the proper uh, protective measures. And I do believe that those on the left are using the coronavirus uh, epidemic as an opportunity to push their far left agenda. And we're seeing this ha not happen not only here, but across um, the country. And it's, it's very disturbing. The Correction Officers Benevolent Association, which represents officers on Rikers Island, called the proposal asinine and irresponsible. Instead, the association challenged the city to provide more masks, gloves, hand sanitizer, and other supplies for correction officers. So far, the city has identified 40 inmates who are set to be released, and this week, city officials will work to identify more. What we will have to wait and see is if those charges made against those individuals will be made public. Caitlin Sinclair, One American News, New York. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.